Hi gang, back again, a little bit of an inter interim video. Um, a lady, one of the people that follows this channel, a lady called Judith, asked a couple of weeks back um, for a John Prime number, Summer's End, uh, which I really enjoyed doing. And she's been back in touch again, bless her, uh, asking for one by Gillian Welsh, one little song. I've not heard of Gillian Welsh, hands up for that, not heard of this song, but it's another classic I got into and again it's quite a sentimental song and uh, Gillian Welsh, well she looks a little bit like the painting that Ros has done behind if you see her on stage but this is a lovely song I'm going to finger pick this and as usual I'm going to go through it in my own, my own style and then go through it with you at the end on the little bits and tricks something like that here we go two three four mm. song left to sing cause everybody kind of thought of everything one little song that ain't been sung one little rag that ain't been wrung out completely yet it's got a little Everybody kind of thought of everything One little note that ain't been used One little word ain't been abused A thousand times In a thousand rhymes One little drop of fallen rain Try again One little bird That makes it home Every now and then One little piece Of endless sky One little taste Of cherry pie One little wink In paradise And I start thinking It's gotta be a song Now then, she's just um, strange this Gillian Welsh because I didn't know it, I've been looking at different things. Everywhere you download this, I've done this in the key of C because it's better for my vocals. I think Gillian sings it in the key of A. But all the sites have been on, the chords, I've watched Gillian very closely on stage and on different things. And on the third line down, if you look down here, press the little arrow, and you'll, I've done the usual, you can download the music, print it off, and it's got all the chord boxes. She sings some of the lyrics, she, she changes slightly at times, which is confusing from perform, performance to performance. Uh, and the sites I've been on, they, she plays, they've got the chords down different in a lot of places, in a fair, fair few places. And I've watched her and she, she doesn't do that, she stays on the chords, so this is as accurate a representation as I can find so you might have people out there that will disagree with this 
Um, but have a little look. To my ear and to my eye, this is okay. Um, so do print it out and you should be okay. You can transpose, you can put, you see people putting capos up, the frets on the second fret off, whatever they want to change the key, and you can get away with that. If you want to strum it, you can do a simple, again, don't get hung up on your strum, but you can, you can just do your down, down, up, um, C. Straightforward down down and I'm rolling that second second bay down down up down up down up down roll up down up down up and the first and third beat I always play on my uh, top string on the fourth string on the first fourth and third but you want to be playing this quietly it's not a thrashy one I haven't got Mr Metronome with me my best mate again because it's quite a central one I didn't want him click click clicking away. Um, so you should know that strum or you can just down strum it, put whatever pattern you want, again if it sounds right it is right, don't get too hung up on your strum. Those that want to try finger picking, it's a 4, 3, 2, 1, you'll see me demonstrate this before, 4th and 3rd string with my thumb, 2nd string with my index finger, 1st string with my middle finger. Some people do use 4 fingers, I just tend to use 3, use my thumb for the 4th and 3rd. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Practice that slowly, but you have to build up to double speed in this. Four, three, two, one. And in the intro, I put um, two unusual chords. You've got um, C sus four from C to C sus four. It's beautiful. That's just the thing I put in to try and replicate. Julian plays this on a guitar. She's got six strings. I've only got four, so I've got to do something to make it a bit more interesting. So I'm going to do a bar on C, then a bar on C sus four. those C sus fours you find them hard to do all you're doing is is you're putting your index finger on the second string of the first fret and you get that suspended chord I think it sounds great but if you don't want to do that just stick on C so if you ever see a C sus four just ignore them and the music and just keep the C's the other thing I've done is G to G sus two your G and all you do magic with the G sus two is you just take off your middle finger G, G sus 2 Everybody can afford of everything G, G sus 2 to G Yeah, that little line there Because everybody can afford of everything G, G sus 2, G And if you're strumming Everybody can afford G, G sus 2 and G. Yeah, there isn't a great deal else in it to go through to be honest. Just um, why I like to sing it first is that when you've gone through these chords and got comfortable with the chords and the strumming patterns and you've practiced your strumming pattern or you've practiced your finger picking pattern, finger picking pattern, love that, <laughs> you can go back to the start and you can stop it from me. Go back to the start and sing it and play it along with me. But uh, Thanks a lot Judith for, for that, it certainly gave me one to think about and uh, I do love listen, uh, hearing from you as usual and if you like this channel and you want to follow on there's a little click the little subscribe button there I'm getting more and more people all the time joining the fun, sharing the ukulele love do press the share button, share it to your friends, ukulele friends if you think it might help them but this is a beautiful song and I do hope you enjoyed it so take care, love you all, see you soon, bye for now